Welcome to the first episode of the Sip Analysis Podcast debut season. I am your host, I Got Brent, and I'm joined here by my fellow co-host, Sadax Lancelot. Let's give him a chance to say hello. And yeah, I know I need a haircut. Hello, everybody. Uh, Sir Dux Lancelot here. Excited to be on the podcast and discuss some Civ strategies with Brins. Yeah, thanks for watching. Dux, if I may say so myself, is a very experienced single player and is most famous for winning the single player Civ 6 Invitational along with the Sexy Gamer and for his population videos, which are really good. Go watch them. Me, on the other hand, I'm um, a uh, mediocre multiplayer, but I am also of a deity standard. He does YouTube as well, and the link to that channel will be below in the description, so go follow him. This first episode will cover all the choices when settling and try and give you a revised outlook on the subject uh, and teach or make you notice something new, hopefully. We will talk from setting your first city to settling out an empire. This first season will be a discussion on all mechanics and key decisions throughout the game suitable for players on any difficulty slash skill. Episodes come out every Tuesday, so subscribe to be notified. Without further ado, let's get straight into the analysis. Here we spawn with Rome. Uh, we picked Rome because you tend to want to settle more cities with Rome to really utilize its unique bonus. And it doesn't really have a typical spawn bias, really. Pretty vanilla. So what typifies a good spawn? And uh, how does this spawn look? Yeah, I think um, the first thing I would look for is like a two food, two production base, which you can get with a Plains Hill settle, which we, we do have. So we would probably want to move. Um, the other thing is a two food, two production tile to work. Um, and we also, we, we can also have that here. So it looks pretty good. In fact, we have loads of options. Like we could go to this two, two here. We could go to this two, two, three here. We could go to this two, two here. And we could go to this one, two here, which would all give us a two, two base. The question is, where do we settle in place? My first inclination is looking at the one, two tile Southeast. But you actually brought up a really good point. And, and what is that, friends? Settling the diamonds could also be alternative. The reason is diamonds are an amenity and amenities are very important. And it gives a two, two, three base. I think that makes sense. We would, yeah, we get the three extra gold. We get the amenity and aisle that we wouldn't be using for a while, right? Because we wouldn't, we would have to improve the diamonds. We would only want to work that when we're like four population because there's not much food. You're, you're putting a food on a tile that really needs it and is otherwise great, a really good tile besides the food. The thing about settling on a luxury, I think it mainly makes a difference in your second city because the second city starts with negative one amenities and a 10% penalty to the yields. Um, but when you settle on your first city on a luxury or the second city, um, you get, you don't get that modifier, which is pretty nice. Why Dux is also considering this uh, one, two spot is because you also benefit um, from a potential campus spot in your first ring and you get two, two, two tiles um, in your first ring, which is also very nice to consider. Um, but we decided that the diamonds would be nice because the gold could be bought later on to buy this campus spot, uh, which is plus three. And settling on this diamond would probably um, make the city grow towards one of these sheep anyway. So you would have two, two, two tiles to work. This would be called a pretty good spawn. Reason being, there is a lot of hills, so production won't be a problem. And production is what you need to make your settlers, your builders, and uh, all that jazz. Um, plus, there are mountains, as we mentioned, uh, for campus adjacency, which is really important. So now we have settled the divine city of Rome. We are going to start producing settlers and see where we can settle our second city. When you settle your first city, you get the choice of um, what tech to tech towards and the choice is normally always animal husbandry the reason being for example on this kind of spawn um animal husbandry horses will provide a 2-2 two -two tile to work automatically which would be nice for example it could spawn here um, and spawn in other areas and it is also really important because it directs you towards your second sea uh, settling towards or on horses is a very nice idea too before we carry on our settling segment we're gonna look into some scouting so now that we're gonna be settling on 
the stone, uh, what would you, where would you move the warrior? Scouting is so important in the early game. I think it definitely needs to be looked at. Even good players I've seen could scout better. And the reason is scouting, firstly, it gives you era score, and that will that will, will be covered later, um, different video. But it really helps you to understand if your spawn is good because your second, and third, and blah, 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 cities do matter. Do you want to probably scout alongside this river? Yeah, I would probably move uh, two tiles um, northwest along along the river. It could reveal more more tiles that way rather than like crossing over and just moving one tile. And a good habit to have when you move, um, when you scout, is also moving one space at a time because you can run into barbarians and things like that. So, yeah, true. And then also, it's good to um, press the four key, the four button, um, to see the settler lens and see if you have any city states. So you might move one tile and see that there's a red tile yes. blocked off where you can't settle, and then you know to move that direction for the mm -hmm. second. Because you would movement. like to meet other civilizations or other city states. Exactly. Yeah. Reason why we said uh, scouting along rivers is nice is because you want to scout next to fresh water, uh, preferably to see where your other cities are, because you want to f settle fresh water, of course, for the plus three housing. Now we've got our first scout produced in Rome. Where do you think we send this? Okay, well, we have coast on the east, um, so I probably wouldn't be quite as curious to see that. I would actually maybe move southeast um, and, and reveal that little chunk um, of, up to the coast. And then I would loop maybe down around south and come up northwest. Scouting in a circular fashion is really nice because your settler can only go really so far. Um, the other, I would say, I think the other reason to settle in a circle is it reveals that the tiles closest to your your capital you want to get your second city um you want to settle your second city quickly and um it's important to know what the best spot is near your your capital and then also i mean just in general i think it makes sense to try to reveal as many tiles as possible when you scout um after after revealing the closest tiles the second priority is probably um, scouting in a way that you reveal the most tiles possible and not have any overlap with already revealed space. For most civs as well, you'd prefer to settle min distance, so minimum distance from mm -hmm. um, with with all your cities really, because then you uh, can f utilize that space essentially uh, as much as possible. Apart yeah, from civs yeah. that grow very quickly, then you might want to sell just a bit further apart, maybe four tiles from each other or five, uh, depending mm -hmm. on the spots. Um, so your citizens have stuff to work. We just moved our warrior this way and uh, using the settler lens, you can click the left and click on settler, but using the four hotkey is very useful. I actually changed mine to one because you just use it that frequently. It's just nice to uh, do. That's a good point. <laughs> um, we can now move into this area and hopefully find a city state. You can actually tell by the borders if it's dotted close like that. So we're going to find a blue one. We find Midler. Um, this is really important for getting first meet. Um, this gets you envoys quickly, gets you extra yields. Anything to add, Tux? So yeah, let's see. We've gotten, we, it was off camera, but we got a tribal village for 40 gold and now we've, discovered a scientific city state so we've got 40 gold and one science um just from scouting a bit with our warrior so that kind of illustrates how scouting is, is so strong and just a little tip of course you uh -huh. prefer to settle uh no, can't try and scout in a circular fashion but the tundra does normally have a lot of tribal villages and um it's always nice to check out as well yeah i agree yeah that's that's good um uh, and, and we can kind of coordinate this so that our warrior goes up north there to the tundra and then our scout can kind of come loop back around and catch the territory south of, of the warrior Yes, quite, quite nicely, I think. And it, we, we have a second scout coming, so I, might, I would maybe consider to keep moving that first scout south and then the other scout can go uh, west. Yes, and we've actually found another one. Uh, another city yeah. state first yeah. meet again 
Nice. Um, another thing to consider is how much space, because because we've let Lahore, the first um, lovely city state name, by the way, um, there's probably not a sieve that near it, um, if it is a first meet. But it's not always the truth. Yeah, true. That's true. It's it's a good way to see where the other players are. If if you don't get the first meet, you can assume that there's another sieve nearby, and that can kind of give you, kind of guide you on where to place your second city. You Absolutely. may want to forward settle them. Yeah. So at this point, so we've met um, a military city state. So now we're we're getting an extra production when we build our units. Um, so that's another benefit from our scouting that we get in to on top of the 40 gold and the one science. Ooh, a third city state. I promise this wasn't planned, but this warrior alone um, has now met, well, actually, we've met three city states. I got three first meets, um, which is nice. This just shows how important scouting is. And so take that. Oh, wow, another recon unit. And, and you got 10 XP there. With that oh and then now you can use you can try to hit that scout probably nice Get some more xp yeah <laughs> that was a bit weird because we don't know we actually have no idea what's going to happen so <laughs> yeah yeah um blocking it i thought it was oh but we do have that yeah and oh, we well. find ethiopia so always checking your let's le set lens is very important and you also get to see loyalty and uh... okay, we've, we've done pretty good getting i mean we have two extra production from those military city states um i mean and and the faith like we're we're also in urban planning so basically like we get three extra production from chinguetti and the two military city states from chinguetti because we can do yes, urban planning instead out. of god king yeah so it's pretty good i think i think um our decisions have have been pretty good with scouting and stuff and we we've we're recognizing the benefits now we're gonna quickly swag way back to the original settling. Okay, so we have our first settler here, and we have a couple options for where to settle. There's a spot southeast with lots of hills and some sheep. We also have some wheat down there. Um, food is a bit lacking, but I think if we improve the wheat, we could maybe make this work, maybe get a trader going from there to Rome. The other spot would be up north west uh we could settle toward here there's a couple three two bananas a couple tiles out from the river um there's quite a few hills out there uh lots of chopping we could do some some chops uh in that city so i i would be a little we already have our pantheon i'd be a little conflicted with whether to settle i think i still would settle on the incense if we when we settle that city because uh, it, it is a luxury incense is not a good tile to work luxuries it's good to settle on luxuries that you don't want to work yes um yeah yeah because you're using them then making them a little better um but at so at this point brands like which which of these two spots uh would you prefer context uh, changes things and we actually found a tribal village which gave us uh 20 faith as we are on standard speed and that means we were originally going to sell this incense because we did plug in the urban planning card, which gives us plus one production for all cities. Uh, but there's no need to do that anymore. Um, and looking at this spawn, there were so many hills and then get a builder to improve it, as uh, Duck said, improve the wheat or look at the sheep. Um, we can get a nice 2-2 base and the sheep, and then we can start working on other things. Um, but the campus spots here are nice. The other spot to consider is the one southwest but it isn't as nice this city here lacks food and isn't very hilly so um, would probably be a spot for later when we do need more seas so we're gonna send this settler down south our settler is nearly in the position but we've just realized there are quite a few spots to sell as we discussed earlier settling to give a 2-2 base is ideal and we have a lot of spots here we've got this these two spots we've got this one two here we've got this um sheep we've got this and got this we've got this whole area suits that criteria um, but the question is what is most optimal there are a few things to consider right where you settle um duck could you explain what those are yeah 
So obviously we want the base, the 2-2 base, ideally. Um, we want enough food, I think. So uh, settling on uh, in place where we are right now, we would probably lack food. Originally, we want to have a two-food tile to work. We want hills. We have plenty of hills here, so that looks great. Uh, we have a campus, like you mentioned, a great campus. Another thing to consider, even if you do, say, have um, two twos in your first rig, for example, um, this settling where we are right now is not ideal because in your first ring, you're going to have two mountains in, uh, uh, blocking your way where you could probably send your citizens to work things. Um, and you probably want to free up space because settling right next to mountains is not ideal. Um, so you probably want to move off and for the food reason. So that eliminates probably these two spots uh, because there are two mountains. So that then leaves us these four spots. I mean, this doesn't really count as a spot. It does give us a 2-2 base, but looking at it, it's flat, it's tundra, not ideal. So that really only, is, only leaves us these three spots. What do you think is the best of those three spots? Um, okay, I would probably want to settle on the 1-2 tile. Um, if we settle on a, on the 1-3, we're going to... Uh, destroy some woods that we could chop later. Um, so that's one reason. And then we're right next to the wheat. And I think that could probably be a decent second tile to work when we improve it. You can also consider uh, this one three spot because you do get the full um, first ring to work. You do have that two two in the first ring. It does kill the one three uh, tile beneath it, the, the uh, woods that you could chop later down the line but a thing to consider is uh where you can settle your potential not your third c we're not going to send it down this way definitely not but down the line it's also important to um think about how your settling impacts future cities uh no you make a really good point i think about canceling those two cities and then having the six tiles to work on on the one three um yep uh that those are advantages you are right next to the to the campus as well you would have to buy okay let's think about this so you would have to buy that campus tile if you settle where i where i said right um you'd have to buy to the one two for for the campus out west yeah because it's it's not gonna i don't think it would grow there there's uh no what, right what, what? i i it, it could it might it might not I don't think um, it would till uh, the yeah start the year. yeah right it would go to the one three right right one threes so you'd have to buy the one two and you would you're probably going to grow to the wheat um, if you settle where you said oh. I would think you would probably grow there right yes yes yeah Resources yeah first. and so yeah I almost want to change my mind now I almost want to say that that is probably the best spot <laughs> well put on we're not mathematician there's definitely if you calculated exactly how it would impact your game but those these two decisions are definitely good and you can make them both work and there probably is an ideal ideal uh, spot but um it's really up to you but they're both pretty good um spots yeah you could say now we've got our second settler out and we still have that spot open uh northwest where we uh, were talking about earlier but a new spot has turned up we were looking at this earlier and you know just a lot of flat land here and was just this and it's not on a grub it's not on a plains hill so settling on it doesn't uh it doesn't remain as a three two one it would go to just one production you do get the luxury of course but circumstances have now changed uh, ducks why is this now a viable option yeah the volcano has erupted and it's been uh it's been good to us so we have some really nice tiles out there and i think that is clearly where we want to settle <laughs> but that direction which one would we settle would we just settle Ooh. the luxury would we settle the two two i would question. probably settle the two well let's see uh okay so let me think about this so we would we would keep the th i think it would still be a three two one one if we settle on it now because there's no woods right yes um Great. but uh I personally would also yeah. settle. Yeah, two, two. I would probably go there, but then now I'm thinking like, yeah, 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 because then 
then you you have two tiles that you can work like, yeah. right off the oh you have a good campus out there too two tiles away a five campus yeah 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 so okay so i would probably go and settle on the two two tile right next to the furs yes um, you still get to yeah, work we have the a, first tile as well yeah nice. so we can we can work the furs and then we have a plus five campus actually two tiles away from that with the geothermal fissure and we have other nice tiles nearby. Another thing I forgot to mention is um, sending your settler two spots. Um, the amount of time it takes definitely matters um, because if you sell earlier, of course, then you get the um, production and food, whatever stuff earlier. So it is also quite important to consider, but. In this instance, going for the incense and going for this 2 2 tile are basically at the same time. But this spawn is also stronger, definitely. Okay, yeah, so we have our three cities up. I think our tempo is pretty good. Um, it's very important what we do in these early turns. It's going to impact the rest of the game so much, uh, how we compound and every turn of production makes a difference in the end. Um, so I think we're looking pretty good here. So, Brenz, what do you think about this so far? I think it's been good. We've got down our cities nice and quickly uh, in good spots, uh, definitely. And uh, the way it's up kind of sometimes it aligns good. They're all um, near min distance from cap. Um, it allows us to go in every direction, really, um, in the future because we can go north here and be comfortable because we've got two cities near that. We can go... Uh, southwest we can also go heavily northeast as well because of the city we set up down here now we're gonna go look at some games we've played uh, both me and ducks to see what city layouts we could have done there so some real scenarios okay so here we have a start we're gonna we're gonna look at a few starts here and we have a babylon start and i actually played through this game uh completely um or i've, I've almost completed it and this was, it was a very good start, I think, with lots of hills. We're on a Highlands map with really juicy settings. Um, but a big question I had here was where to settle. Um, it's, if we settle in place, we just have a 2-1 base, which is an ideal, especially for a speed run when you're trying to do a fast science victory. 2-1 base is almost like out of the question. Um, there's another option. We can move on to the stone for a 2-2. Two, two. The thing is, we don't know what's out here. We don't know what is, uh, yeah, out, out, what, what's on the other side of that stone. Um, and we, we, we can also move on to the sheep uh, for a 3-1 tile. And we know we have a couple 2-2s two there, so that looks good. Um, we're also fairly close to the coffee, which provides... Um, culture which is always good we would grow to that if we settle either in place or on the sheep whereas if we settle the stone we probably we, we wouldn't grow to that we'd have to buy it what else uh so otherwise an, an amazing start for a really strong babylon capital but where do we settle what what i what, what do you think friends what if we went for that uh one two um turn three settle but it has a lot of two twos around it um, let's see how much production would we miss would we delay we did we'd miss two turns of production at five production right so the, the palace gives two production our base would give one where if we settle in place yeah um uh and then we'd be working a two two so that's five production we'd miss out on for two turns so 10 product we would recover that in 10 11 turns if we settle on the one two what, what i ended up doing is settling on the sheep ah, for the okay. three one and, and, you know, in my mind, I thought, uh, okay, I can at least get something better than a 2-1 base. But I don't know if moving uh, uh, moving for one food is worth it. What do you think, Brenz? Is, is moving a turn for... A, we, know, we know it's worth it for production. Is it mm -hmm. worth it for a food? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> now, food can be very nice. I, you always hear about this lovely free two bananas left, right, and center. But it's settling... Hmm, moving on a three-one work. I actually don't know the answer to that question. That's <laughs> I, I, I don't either. But <laughs> so basically, what happened here is um, someone tell I, us yeah. in the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let us let us know what you think. Um, 
I ended up uh, it, basically it went slower. It, the game went slower than I expected, um, considering how good this start was. Um, it ended up okay, but it wasn't my fastest game. And I think I think a part. I mean, I didn't. Pl- I may not have played it the best otherwise, but I think part of the reason for that is is this choice of where to settle. I think I, I missettled um, this first city, and I think it would have been better probably to move on to the one two on for a turn three. Interesting. Um, yeah. What I also could have done. So here's another option: is you can you what I could have done if I moved on to the sheep. Um, let me see. Actually, let's move let's move the warrior onto the coffee. Okay, so that doesn't help too much. <laughs> um let's move our the settler onto the sheep. Actually, that's yeah, ah, so you so don't that, see the honey. That was not yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And this also shows why moving blindly moving on to the two two wouldn't have been a good idea no. because we would only have a two one. Yeah. Um Yep, and and so the we can do a turn three settle either on this plains hill to the south now, or we could have obviously we could have done the other thing that Brens mentioned and moved on to the one two. There's to the so north, many which options. Is, it's yeah, so annoying. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. Or we can also do a turn three settle on the on. Okay, so to so go to the next turn. The question, the thing is, look, there's three mouths of three rivers. I haven't seen yeah, this kind of spawn yeah, before. You can even it's go crazy. to this one, two for a third. For yeah, a third true, as well. we didn't true. That. Yeah, um, <laughs> there's too many. Um, and and crazy. actually, you know what? That that actually doesn't look bad. I almost like that. You know why? Because there, there's a rice tile there, and and with Babylon, you get free irrigation when you get that uh, improved. Ah, but, okay. I don't know. And anyway, but um. What I should have done, like say, let's say I move on to the sheep, and it's not the best choice. I should have moved my warrior down to the this wood tile. Yeah. Yep, yeah. and this would reveal honey. I could have moved on to the two two to the south on turn two here. Yeah. Um. So move the settler down to turn. Yeah, right there. And then I could either settle in place here, or I think ideally, I think the clear choice is settling honey. on the honey. Yeah. And you, oh, the three twos. Yeah. Oh. And then we have three twos. The same would grow like crazy. Yeah. See, I, what I want to do is I want to actually go back and play play this and probably do that. I think your idea made definitely made sense, like to go up north. <laughs> I didn't um, know the honey the and stuff. But yeah. but yeah, now like seeing this sequence, Amber. like it, if. It would it would require you making almost a bad decision by moving on to the sheep and then moving your warrior in the right place to yeah. see the the honey. But I I think this would be pretty. I'm very curious to see what how this plays out here because we have a four one base. Yeah, this is so much better, so much better than the sheep because yeah. we have an extra food and we have a luxury yeah. and that is is just a lot better than than the sheep and I think it's worth the one turn, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, what what are your thoughts, Brent? Uh, I'd agree. Despite look, there's not that many mines. The thing is, there's so True. many two two True. tiles uh, and three two tiles. So this seat would grow so nicely, and yep. growth allows you to work more tiles, right? Uh, and that could definitely translate to settling. Look, settling on this honey, for example, allows the seat like this one uh, on the True. north. True. Uh, True. And yeah. would be nice. Yeah, yeah and production. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a good point that there aren't a lot of there aren't as many hills there are yes. there's still a lot of hills yes i think it's uh, probably enough but um we would sacrifice a few late in the game i think a few mines but i think it would be a pretty good idea yeah so let's go ahead and settle that and just i mean look at it's just beautiful getting getting a base tile like that yeah I think on standard yeah. speed, I think that is yeah. the yeah the the play on online speed. I don't. It probably isn't. It's probably too. Slow, yeah, yeah. But... Too ten. All right, moving on to the next one. Here we've loaded into a Russia game, and we're not in the well. We're on the border of the tundra. Um, this is another one of Ducks game, but one we picked out as a quite an interesting spawn. So, Ducks, take it away. What were you uh, thinking of when you looked at the spawn? Yeah, so basically, um, this could kind of illustrate the power of Russia. Um, <laughs> at first glance, 
if you if you had another sieve, if you were playing a different sieve than Russia, the settle I, I would think is probably just in place. Um, yeah. yeah, you wouldn't be gaining anything by moving. No. Nope. Um, so I think just settling in place would be the way to go, and it wouldn't be necessarily the best spawn. But for Russia, in this case, I think it's clearly best to move on to the silver. So what that is going to do is that's going to give a luxury. It's going to give three gold, and it's going to give a faith. And Nothing. I think all of that combined is probably worth a turn, at least on standard speed. Yes. Um, online speed, I'm... Um, it, what what do you think on online speed? Hundred you... percent would it would be worth it as well. Definitely. Okay, sure. okay, yep, yeah. Now we wouldn't be creating any additional production because we would be if we settled in place. Um, we would like if we settled where we spawned. Um, it, we would have a two food two production base. Yep, and that's all we're getting here on the luxury, but we're also getting a luxury three gold and a faith. Mm -hmm. So I. I think it is. I think it's worth it. it but um, we, it's true that we're we're not making any additional production out of this. But ultimately, that's what I did. I also tried a game where I settled. I think I settled in place on another attempt with this map, and the the one where I moved onto the silver went much better. It was much. Uh, it was a much faster game. If that tells you anything, just shows you how important your first cities are, as we explained earlier. Yep, yep. And and obviously part of it is, you know, I had seen the map and all these other things, but I think part part of the reason why it went better was was the first settle. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. two two three one base with uh you still have a two two. Russia gains production in the tundra, so yeah, yep. Yep. Look at that for a settle. Beautiful. <laughs> Why would you ever set on a two-two when you could get this S? So. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And another interesting thing is Russia is um, you want to settle on flat tundra if you can because you you get the yep. same result. It's a two food two production one faith base. Mm -hmm. So even if this tile here was just a flat tundra with silver, it would be exactly the same for Russia. Yes. It would be a two food two production three gold and one faith. And and another thing that's nice about Russia being able to settle on um, on flat tundra is you can settle a turn earlier, uh, actually two turns earlier, I believe, than if you have to move on Absolutely. to a hill. Yeah, yeah, yep. And uh, you can use those hills for mines instead. Yeah, exactly. Yep. All right. So here we have a really interesting start. This actually comes from. Another uh, civilization YouTuber, Ursa Ryan, uh, you guys can check him out. And um, he posted this seed and kind of challenged other people to try playing it. Now, I haven't played it through myself, but some others have. And some others have done some pretty impressive uh, results with, with this seed. Um, it, now, it's, it's pr obviously pretty sad. Like, you, you're, you're kind of stuck with a 2-1 in, the, in this area. If you settle in place, you're, you're on a 2-1, and you're working 2-1s, which is like a double nightmare. Um, but, Brenz, I'm going to go ahead and put you on the spot here, and I want to know where you would settle. Here. Now, I mean, Dux has already said it. It is pretty sad. Um, not on our hills, you don't get fresh water off the spot, which you prefer as a non naval sieve. Um, that doesn't have any particular bonuses towards it. We do have fresh water on the right, uh, that's something to consider. And we are on standard speed. So, first things when I look at this pawn, I definitely move the warrior down south. So, you can see we have a reef here, we've got crabs, okay. Um, so we've got a few um, resources if we were to go coastal something con to consider hmm but the question is is it worth moving for any of these tiles now let me go through my thought process um if we sell in place there's just a whole bunch of two one tiles we have no two twos in sight which are what we like um of course we can improve we can go for a builder first we will have housing problems other spots to move to though uh is going north here the reason why you might 
actually there's probably zero reason why you're gonna go there so I'm not gonna explain that too much um, but we can afford to move for example onto the freshwater here and then we'd have this fur in our um, first ring the problem is though we have no idea what's on the side of that um, and of course it's if you're playing single player um, you can definitely check it out and then uh, make your judgment but if you're just playing this for the first time uh, that's definitely not worth the risk so maybe going that direction uh, isn't worth it despite there being fresh water for all we know this could be a bunch of planes and uh we'd have nothing to work yeah that, that, that's a really it, it, you make a lot of really good points yep and it, it is it is blind if you go there um basically what happened is like the best games the best results were going to that tile ah, um and interesting yeah and and what we need is like a we need to be able to justify it though um and i i'm not sure like with obviously these people had seen the game already played they knew that that was a good spot um i'm not sure if there's a reason to justify it just on like coming in blind like like you said like you said exactly cuz the worst case we could be settling a 2-1 working a 3-1-1 one, one, which is maybe a little better um, but it, and then we could be stuck with other. We'd be stuck with a turn three settle on a two one, working a three one one, and maybe nothing else. Um, but if if we go there, I'll go ahead. Let's go ahead and move to that spot. The other option I didn't mention probably moves to this okay. two one. Uh, then you can potentially get a bit of adjacency with a campus here or something, and you do have the three one. But it's not really wor worth moving the tile for that. Mm. Um, just just True, yeah, that. yeah. That's that's a possibility because oh. you would have. <laughs> so obviously, um, obviously moving, you can you can tell that moving is going to be the way to go. I still wasn't completely sold, so I did play about a hundred turns of each of this. Um, I played settling in place, and then I also played about a hundred turns moving here, and it was amazing. The difference, the difference was huge, huge difference. Um, I was, I think I got my, even, even the first settler came out multiple turns earlier. Of course. Um, yeah. <laughs> even with this turn three settle. Yeah. yeah. So, so the way the, the, the settle is, I, I think is, ends up being on the, uh, the one, one yeah. uh, to, down so. there. Yeah. On, on turn your three. First ring. Yeah. Yep. You have a two, three, one. It's only turn three. And you, you basically have, you're basically on a two, two working a two, two sort of. It's the same kind of thing. And it's only turn three. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the main solution, though, is just clicking menu and clicking restart. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> why that, put that yourself fixes... through the pain? Yeah, why put yourself through it? No, but yeah, sometimes yeah, it's good sure. to have a challenge. Good to have a challenge. Yeah, it's, it is kind of fun to try something like this. Because then, I mean, look down here. We have Tundra to our south. Like, <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty pretty rough. But um, Actually, okay. Uh -huh. Wait, while we're here, we can explain why yeah. this is a worse spawn, a bad spawn, even further. First, you had yeah. to take a few turns more, but you can only, if you don't want to go tun um, tundra or coast, you have can only go in certain directions, and um, yeah, not ideal. Okay, great. This was a great episode, and next we're going to be talking about citizen management and districts. So that will be our next podcast. Looking forward to that. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to be notified for future episodes of this podcast. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. We could. No one saw that. It's. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Eh? Oh, wait. Don't mind. Oh. <laughs> that was funny. Didn't realize I popped oh, no. it. Turn delayed. I'm so sad. Oh! Oh, interesting. This okay. is this is interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is spicy <laughs> stuff. We're yeah, now we're yeah, talking. This is pretty good. <laughs> and we get a two-two free base. Let's go. Okay, if we. Oh sell. yeah, yeah, yeah. We could. Okay, so. Okay. So, wait, wait, okay. wait. We you, gotta actually. Should I? I think we'll cut.